Hey guys, what's up? It's Apostle from C Success Now, and in this video today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to start Shopify dropshipping step by step from scratch in 2020. So stay tuned. Alright guys, hey what's up? It's Apostle from C Success Now, and in this video today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to start Shopify dropshipping step by step from scratch in 2020 guys now like i said if you've been watching my previous videos i've been doing drop shipping for at least four months now so and and also i've been you know just doing a lot of things in my business with this and i've really been taking it to the next level so uh, i plan to you know uh, i plan to you know make this video right here because a lot of people were telling me hey you should make a shopify drop shipping uh, tutorial or something like that and then i was like okay i should because uh, you know there's a, there's pretty decent information out there but i'm going to tell you my take on it and how to actually do it you know the right way but anyway guys if you're interested in that make sure you follow along and stay to the uh, end of this video also hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy content like this you know it helps out the channel and it gets uh this video more out there to you know other people that uh you know that are similar and want to learn how to you know start drop shipping right now also guys make sure to check out my previous videos you know how to i mean how i make 500 per day shopify drop shipping uh, i still plan on scaling this store like i said the only part that I'm having, you know, I'm doing different things on was uh, scaling with Facebook, right? So I'm trying out different methods with scaling. So make sure you guys check out this video and also make sure to check out my previous one before that, how I make $200 per day. I literally scaled it to $500. So if you guys are interested, you know, check out those two videos. Those are literally um, the two videos that I posted about Shopify dropshipping. But anyway, guys, you know, also, you know, subscribe if you're new and, uh, you know, make, uh, make sure you turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I post a new video, which is, you know, every single day or yeah, close to every single day. But anyway, guys, without further ado, let's get started in the video today. All right, guys, so what is Shopify and dropshipping, right? So basically, guys, we're going to be going to Shopify, of course. Uh, literally, this is the platform that, you know, everyone uses. And plus, I use too. It's just really, it makes everything really easy for you. The interface is pretty simple to understand. Um, I did, you know, transfer from, you know, WordPress and stuff. So I'm pretty familiar with that type of interface. But like I said, it's still pretty, uh, you know, simple and easy to understand. And plus, there's different apps that you can use that are simple and easy to add to your store and just to make your store overall uh, just better, right? So so like I said, Shopify is what we're going to be talking about today. It's just a great platform. You can build your own online business by using Shopify. Very simple and easy stuff right here. It's one of the best platforms out there. Big companies are using it. That makes, you know, billions of dollars a year. I believe, you know, um, what's that one company, Kylie Cosmetics? She literally uses this and she's, you know, like a billionaire. So as you can see right here, a lot of people are using Shopify dropshipping, guys. So it's everywhere. Literally, you can sell everywhere online. Um, it's so simple and easy. This platform makes it super easy for you. And yeah, it's it's very simple and easy to understand. And also, they ha they're still having that 90-day free trial. So that's the beauty of doing this, guys. You can literally start for literally free in three months and plus with shopify dropshipping you can test out plenty of one product stores because that's what i'm going to be really talking about in this video one product stores are definitely the way to go and then just you know adding on different products or something but anyway guys i'll explain that more later on in the video but basically guys as you can see right here this is shopify dropshipping you know i'm not going to show you exactly how to design the store guys um i'm just going to show you the uh, you know the layout and, and exactly what you need to design this the right way because it's not that hard because like the whole point like i said you know the hardest thing would you know having a business is not actually creating it it's just getting traffic and i'm going to show you the easiest way to get traffic and you know some uh you know advanced ways to do it so make sure you stay to the end of the video for that but like i said guys really setting this up is not hard at all like i said you know it's pretty drag and drop and you just you know write out the you know product description and everything i'm going to show you how to do uh, a lot of that but anyway this is uh the, sh pl uh the platform right here now guys there's a couple of other platforms that you're going to need to understand for the complete beginner we're going to do aliexpress yes i know there's other you know suppliers out there trust me i use other suppliers like cj drop shipping or even some other ones out there there's like zen drop there's you Dropy. there's so many other uh you know um platforms that you can use to you know import products and use products from there and get you know different deals and different things like that for your you know like faster shipping or different things that's why a lot of people use different uh you know um you know suppliers and all that but aliexpress for the beginner it's very simple and easy to understand it would definitely get your foot in the door i recommend aliexpress for the beginner just to you know uh, get your feet wet just to understand the platform guys very simple stuff it's pretty straightforward and you can really switch out your product easy and it's just simple to understand um 
I recommend that you go to like CJ dropshipping once you're getting a lot of orders and once you're getting that traffic and that steady flow of traffic. I definitely recommend that you switch over to CJ dropshipping so you can get faster shipping like 5 to 15 day shipping times. But like I said guys, AliExpress is still a great platform. All you have to do is sign up for AliExpress. Literally, that's all you have to do. I'm, I'm not signing right now and it keeps signing me out. Uh, that's the weird thing about AliExpress. It always signs you out, but you can just easily sign back in. But basically guys, just sign in right there. Click join. If you haven't already signed up, it's completely free uh, to do. And then you can literally check out so many different products on this store. So that's how we're going to find our products with AliExpress, guys. This is where we're going to actually be finding the products that we can import to our store. So the best thing about Shopify dropshipping, what I forgot to mention, is that you don't have to buy inventory. So... You know, unlike other business models that are in the e-com space, like, you know, Amazon FBA, for example, you have to buy inventory up front and there's a whole bunch of different fees that you have to do. And plus, you can't even create your own brand with Amazon FBA. So that's why Shopify dropshipping is definitely the best way to do, you know, beginner e-commerce, but also it's just one of the best ways because you can create your own personal brand around it, or I mean, your own brand around it and have a personal connection with that customer, right? So this is definitely the best way to do it, right? And basically, guys, like I said, right there, AliExpress for beginners, right? And then you're gonna need a platform also called Oberlo. I mean Oberlo. Oberlo. <laughs> Sorry guys, I don't know why I got tongue uh, tongue twisted right there. But anyway, Oberlo is this website where you can literally import the products to your store, and it's very simple and easy to do. You don't have to code to this page right here. Just download or go to the Oberlo uh, extension. Just literally download that because as you can see right here i never signed in from this part literally i never ever in my life so just go type in oberlo extension and literally that's the way you can import the products to your store now as you can see right here no inventory no risk literally there's no risk at all to start drop shipping like i said you don't have to buy inventory at all that's the beauty of this all you have to do is you know have some upfront money to you know run ads or you know this other way that i'm going to show you that's going to save a lot more time so make sure you stay to the end but like i said oberlo literally connects to your shopify store you can download the app in shopify there's different you know apps that you can download and then find and import the products literally it's that simple and easy L literally at a click of a button guys and make your store look good and then you know drive traffic obviously like i said very simple and easy stuff to do yes this is trusted by everyone this is literally the number one recommended you know um uh you know platform to use to import products to your store right so it's very simple and easy to understand like i said all you have to do is shopify aliexpress or burlo use all these platforms find your product import it to your store very simple stuff and then you can change the, the description and all that you can literally import it right there you can change the description in oberlo and then import it to your store and change the variants and all that so there's a lot of different stuff but guys trust me that's the easy part of drop shipping literally the easy part like i said setting up the business um like setting it up is the easy part but getting traffic and getting quality traffic and knowing how to do this and marketing the right way and setting up your funnel the right right way because you know there's difference from you know uh, you know different business models but like i said guys that's the easy part with you know oberlo importing and all that trust me guys that's the easy part but now i'm going to give you some real real advice and some tips like i said this this is a step-by-step -step tutorial but the thing is i'm just going to give you some real tips that a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of dropshippers are not going to tell you guys this is not a great you know this is not easy um this is actually pretty difficult to get quality traffic and also you know to find your winning product so i do want to give out some pointers right so guys when you're finding your winning product because I'm going to be talking about, you know, one product stores, obviously. But when you're finding your winning product, you want to make sure that you spend a lot of time doing this. At least eight, like a lot of your time. Do not doubt this part because you, you cause you're going to be building a whole store around this product. You're going to be writing the descriptions. You're going to be doing all that. And I'm going to show you easier ways to do this, right? To write the descriptions and get some ideas. But like I said, guys, you, you're you going to be spending a lot of time with this product. You're going to be running ads to this product. You're going to be, you know, uh, you know, having different ad creatives, you know, writing different ad copies and, you know, creating different videos to run this ad, right? So there's a lot of different things that you can do. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So, you know, make sure, you know, really calm down, guys, and just really pay attention to this video, right? So finding your winning product, I'm going to give you a couple different tips. I don't want to make this video like an hour long, but I'm going to give you a couple different tips, right? So this is what you want to do. For your winning product, you either want to go on Facebook, right? And literally just click on Shopify dropshipping ads. This is what you want to do. You can type, you know, um, free shipping in the Facebook search bar or something like that. And just click on Shopify dropshipping ads. Uh, make sure you click the shop now and add to cart. And you even want, to, uh, even want to initiate the checkout button. Because what this would do, it will tell Facebook that you're like a paying customer. And Facebook will show you more ads on your fees, right? Or your feed. 
So this will give you more Shopify dropshipping ads that are popular and what's working right then and there. So you want to do this a couple of times so Facebook could, could really uh, see that and then they will uh, start promoting you more ads. And you can also do this on Instagram or something like that. And you can do this with Google. Well, it, it, I'm pretty sure it will connect or something, but like I said, this is how you can get you know ads popped up on your feed with facebook and i do this this is a great way to do it this is a great method facebook literally they'll show you popular ads that are working and like i said you can use them and just that's how you can find winning products if it's like two weeks if it's under like a month old it's definitely still a good winning product you should definitely try it out even if it's maybe you don't want to go over two months but i recommend just like a month that's how you know it's fresh two weeks and below definitely that's the sweet spot right there so you, that's a great way how to find winning products guys in short also you can use different um you know um software based products like uh you know ecom hunt that's a ecom hunt is this product uh you know it finds winning products for you it's very simple and easy to understand it's like 30 dollars a month if you don't have that much money guys um like i said just look on facebook do that method a couple of times it's completely free and that's how you can find winning products also you can just go on aliexpress itself and just look to, uh, to find winning products on here uh if you, i'm gonna give you some tips on how to find winning products on aliexpress too basically guys when you're on aliexpress and you click on a product or whatever so let's click on uh one of these right so Alright guys, so I clicked on one of these, and as you can see right here, this is definitely a winning product. If it has over a 4.5 star rating right there, and it has over, you know, like 100 views, reviews I mean, and then at least, you know, a thousand plus orders or something like that, then this is definitely good. But you don't want overly saturated products because it's going to be hard to market that because everyone's marketing those products unless you find a unique way to market the product. Like I said, there's so many different ways to do this and there's so many different strategies to do Shopify dropshipping the right way. You can bring back, you know, um, uh, winning products that were, you know, good like a year ago. But like I said, you're going to have to want to market it in a different way or just market it to, you know, different audiences. Uh, you know, let's say, for example, like let's say that you had... Um, this footrest right that you would use in an airplane let's say that you can use that footrest for you know a uh, school or something or in in the classroom right so you can market it to a different audience like that and that's just a you know a way of really mastering marketing so like i said guys really traffic is the ultimate way and just learning you know facebook ads and different things like that and learning how to get traffic the right way guys but like i said guys yeah right here and also here's the uh, burlo uh, thing right there like I said, you can literally import this product to your store. It's that simple and easy, guys. Make sure you also look at the shipping that you're getting into. Just make sure you understand the shipping methods and all that good stuff, especially when you're doing AliExpress. You guys want to do AliExpress standard shipping, but this is $7, so you're definitely probably going to want to find another product. ePacket is really slow right now, and you definitely don't want to use any of these other ones because they're definitely not going to work. And AliExpress, you know, sometimes they're a little iffy with their suppliers and all that and just the way they act. So... It's really a hassle sometimes, but like I said, guys, just use AliExpress standard shipping. Yes, shipping prices are going up because you know what's going on, but try to find products that you know have you know have a good price for you know um, uh, you know shipping, right? So, like I said, finding winning products, you can go on AliExpress and just look right there. Uh, you can um, use Facebook, Ecom Hunt. You can use all these platforms. Also, guys, with AliExpress, you can also use this platform called AliExpress Drop uh, Drop Shipping Center. Type that into Google right now, and you can literally copy this, copy the link, literally the URL link, and paste it, um, uh, you know, in that uh, thing that I showed you guys. And then once you paste it in there, you can actually find how many products are selling per day. So you can do that too. Just type in AliExpress Dropshipping Center and then sign up for that. And it's going to literally, you can analyze different products and copy the link and then paste it right there. Simple stuff to understand. Now, guys. That's how to find winning products in short. Like I said, product description, guys, I'm gonna give you some advice on this. You wanna look on Amazon. You wanna make sure you look at uh, look on Amazon. You wanna look at different Shopify stores that are selling similar products. You never wanna look at a blank template, guys. In business, you never wanna look at a blank template. If it's, all if it's already working, guys, you wanna look at what your competitors are doing, guys. This is simple business right there. It's not copying and pasting. You don't have to do that. All I'm saying, guys, is that everyone's doing this. This is simple business right here. Look at Xbox versus uh, PlayStation, right? 
you know they literally copy what's working from each other to make their business greater or just make it better guys you know and the same thing with you know iphone and you know samsung or different things like that you know there's so many different companies right that are constantly competing against each other and competition makes a company better especially one company will literally shoot ahead each time guys and you notice this all the time so like i said guys you want to watch your competitors watch what they're doing and either implement the website better than them or just you know like i said replicate similar content and just do that like like i said you don't want to copy their content obviously but literally guys you don't want to look at a blank template i can't stress this out enough this will save you a lot of time and it will literally ease the stress off your mind you don't have to write all these product descriptions from uh, you know scratch you don't have to you know do all that no guys just look what's working at amazon look look the product up at amazon and uh shopify so how to do this right you want to type in your product name and then if you're doing it for shopify stores you want to type in your product name plus shopify so literally type in your product name so product name and then plus add a plus sign and then shopify in the google search bar so you want to do that right and this will show up Shopify stores that are similar and, you know, posting products just like your store. So this is exactly what you do. Now for Amazon, just type in the product and Amazon should pop up regardless. Now, that's exactly the blueprint on how to do this. Finding your winning product and, you know, getting descriptions so you can see what your competitors are doing and replicating that. Like I said, this is the easy part. Believe it or not, this is the easy part. This is the simple part right here. Now let's go on to the next couple of steps. Now we're still at the easy part, right? Uh, you're gonna need to download a couple different apps now. I'm gonna recommend some apps that you use so You need to have Luke's reviews or you could use an app similar to this just to import reviews from Aliexpress some popular reviews You definitely want to look this up. It's called looks uh, Luke's reviews. I believe it's pronounced. It's like L O O something. I forgot just type this up Literally just type up reviews uh, review reviews review photo reviews right just type that up right and just type it up in the um, aliexpress you know uh you know apps or whatever it's called and then it should pop up trust me now after that you're going to need some other apps you're going to need a tracking app these are literally a must to have to make your store work guys really work you're going to need a tracking app to track your packages because people love to track their orders and see where they're at. You can use, um, there's different recommended apps you can use. You can use Tractor. Um, you can use, uh, there's other ones there too. You can use those apps. You just need a tracking app, guys. It doesn't have to be special. It could be a free one. It does not matter as long as you have a tracking app that is a must. Now, what other apps do you need? Uh, you need... Make sure you got the Burlo app make sure you had that too like i said you get the extension but also you use the uh a burlo app make sure you download the app in the shopify store um there's some other apps i know i'm missing some there's some other apps to use hold on all right so you can use a sticky add to car app that basically just sticks on your page so they can add to cart even when they're scrolling down and looking at reviews and different things like that you can add a sticky add to cart page you can also add you know these are just at this point they're just optional right you can add some other apps um for you know uh, adding to cart you know some uh, countdown timer apps so you can get people to you know uh, to instantly buy a lot quicker you know urgency apps like that so different apps like that that will work but anyway guys that's the blueprint right there for the apps now guys let's go into the traffic right so traffic all right so we're going to start off with one of the easiest ways to get traffic you know it's obviously not facebook ads because it's not there's a lot to learn and a lot of people don't a lot of people don't teach you everything about facebook ads guys i might make a course or something but facebook ads is no joke and a lot of people this is what they do on the internet right this is exactly what the entrepreneurs do they literally teach you how to do like a basic campaign and that's it there's so much more to facebook guys i want you to know that you won't do it you won't see success just off of a just just off of a testing campaign just literally that's you can but it's it i'm not saying that it's impossible but guys trust me you need more than just a testing campaign there's retargeting there's lookalike audiences there's um different ad creatives that you have to make to in order people to buy more like there's so many different things with facebook ads and right now you know we're not really going to be talking about that so we're going to be talking about the easiest way we're going to be talking about instagram influencers right so this is what we're going to be talking about traffic you know instagram influencers now you can do facebook ads or google ads i definitely recommend them trust me like i said i'm doing facebook ads right now 
and listen it is it is a lot of work but it's it's definitely profitable and you can make a lot of money as you can see right here i literally made up to 500 dollars per day guys so like i said yeah but instagram influencers you can do the same thing you can pay you know a, a price and then you can uh you know get a lot of traffic to your store if it's popular on instagram and different things like that so let's talk about this right so how to do instagram influence so i just looked up you know a, a meme page like world star people use meme pages or they use you can use meme pages or personal influencers obviously not world star they're way too big and they definitely won't answer you back but just for this example i'm going to show you exactly what to do now this is what you want to do you want to go on instagram and you want to type up different main pages and if you can't find some just go to world star or whatever and just basically guys uh all you all you want to do is click the drop down menu and click see all right here and it's going to show you other meme pages and then what you do you just click on similar meme pages right and then you do this exact same thing you follow them and you see what they're posting see their type of engagement that they have make sure they have really good engagement and you can type in how much engagement they have you can look that up but like i said guys engagement is huge on especially on instagram and make sure they're posting consistently too and make sure they're not deleting their posts so just make sure they have those similar qualities i'm pretty sure this is self-explanatory to a lot of people especially if you use instagram but like i said just watch out for the fake ones out there just make sure they have pretty good engagement and they're posting pretty consistently and i mean like every single day consistently or every couple of days and don't go below that so basically just find instagram meme pages like that and I recommend that they have a following between 500,000 and a million or even 100,000 and 500,000. Now you can do less than that if you find like a really targeted niche, uh, go for it. But like I said, guys, that's, you know, that's a, you definitely don't want to go over a million because they're going to be charging you a lot more money. So that's exactly what you want to do to charge for a post and just contact these people. Literally, all you have to do is type up, um, can I have a product that will work best for this page? How much for a shout out or something like that? And then literally uh you can do it they'll shout you out and make sure you guys listen to this part make sure you guys pay through paypal so if they don't actually do it you can get your money back so you, you should pay through paypal their goods and services or something like that and make sure you pay through paypal because you can get your money back if you do this now i don't use you know instagram influencers i don't really do that i jumped right into facebook ads and i've been sticking with that for the past four months like i said i've been doing shopify dropshipping for the past four months and you know facebook ads i just started doing that and i just jumped right in it because i wanted consistent results so like i said with you know instagram meme pages it depends how much you pay but like i said guys if you pay like you know five hundred dollars or something or even less than that right like twenty dollars thirty whatever the price may be you're gonna get traffic and it depends how long your post is staying up so like i said you know your post will stay up for like 24 hours 12 hours or whatever the deal will be that you guys will uh you know make a deal or whatever and then you'll see how much traffic that you can get and the best thing about instagram influencers you can literally like i said you can instantly make like twenty thousand dollars in a day if you do it right people are doing this they're making lots of money but like i said i chose facebook or google ads just because i wanted consistent results to make more money every day but guys like i said just start off with instagram influencers you get this is if you were low on money start off with instagram influencers this is how you can make more money and just find winning products that will work on instagram um like i said and that's basically the whole blueprint right there guys you do the same thing and you find other meme pages so here's another meme page right here and then you just click see all and then you find other meme pages and then you literally click on them and then you do the exact same thing you click the drop down menu or drop down arrow and that's it so guys this is literally the whole blueprint right there like I said, you can also use Facebook ads and Google ads. You can use all these different platforms. I definitely recommend them. But guys, I want to tell you that this is not easy. Yes, you can make a lot of money with Shopify dropshipping. It's pretty crazy to think that literally in a couple of months that you can make like $500 plus per day at like 30% profit margins or something like that. That's what I've been doing. And it's pretty crazy. I understand. But guys, trust me, this is definitely worth it. E-commerce is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's definitely something that you want to at least check out and get look into. Like I said, this is huge and so profitable look at the richest man alive right so that's all i gotta say right so i definitely recommend e-commerce for anyone that's getting started it, it may be a little bit harder you may need a little bit more money but it's definitely worth it you know if you want an easier business model you definitely could do like affiliate marketing or something but like i said guys 
e-commerce is definitely the way to go and that's why i jumped right into it like i said if you know my story i did uh affiliate marketing before before i did my four months of shopify drop shipping so i did affiliate marketing and created different youtube channels and did all that for like a year like literally a year or two so like i said guys i've been doing this for a while but i got into e-commerce like four months ago but i already had experience with marketing so except you know with facebook ads and google ads so like i said guys it has been a, a journey for me and it's still a journey right now but i plan to take this to the next level and i can't wait to share that with you guys but anyway if you made it to the end i really do appreciate it guys you know hit the thumbs up button you know share this content with everyone anyone that wants to learn how to make money online the right way literally guys uh this is one of the ways right here this is the way that i'm teaching currently on my channel if you're interested you know subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.